Hello! We're back with another video with first impressions of a game I've been <coughs> wanting to play and now I got released to free to play which is Faeria. And Faeria is a game that has been developed for the past three years or so. I've played it since it, when, when it was first alpha tested and kind of got me hooked because it was so original back then but I've heard it went through a lot of changes lately so let's see what happened in between this is a game which visual graphics are stunning and it's going so this is the deck selection. So basically, it's a strategy slash card game. changed since, changed a lot actually, since I first alpha tested it, where is the action and the board would go from an horizontal perspective, now it's just north versus south perspective. Alright, so this is the action. menu probably want to it's the energy I have three maybe I can't use this yet I need to create land Create a prairie and game two. Okay, do that. There's nothing else I can do. I'm gonna pass my turn. Uh, I already created three squares of land. Behold my structure. Okay. Mm, structures can move or fight back, attack them with your creatures. Fair enough. So the Tiki Totem kind of buffed the Yak as soon as he entered. And... Might want to... The forest. Okay. Right, so... Steam Forge Enforcer. Mm. Yeah, let's go for the drug. Gonna go for it. We trust two cards. Yeah, moves. I need more forests. I need two. I can play the golem. And I don't have enough for this. Mm. Place my square, my land square here. That way, he now cannot put any squares on my side of the board. I just cut the board to almost half. So he only can place squares this way. This, this means I can place squares 
whatever I want on this side and try to get some sort of board control. Now, and place another. Alright. So, yeah. And this. Try to prevent him from from going straight to my uh, orb. That way gives me some sort of line of defense. Alright, so now if I attack the yak, yep, just destroy the yak. I'm gonna give him this one for the one, just in case. That's one person. See, I gotta destroy that orb pretty fast because it's kind of close to damage to the opponent. Right. I need to start collecting orbs or uh, energy things from here, from here. This is a rebel slinger. Okay. Rebel Slinger, I choose you! Wow, okay. Now, to take down the orb. How dare you? Of course, man. Just because. And I'm gonna pass my turn. So now, this is. Uh, what's this? Yeah, same as the first one. But now it doesn't have the Tiki token. No, wait. Tiki Totem. Create an adjust adjacent forest at random. Forest is good. Forest is good. Forest. Ah, right, 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 right. So I need. How about this? I place it here. I can't. No. Um. I think I'm gonna lose this guy. Might as well just go straight for the uh, throat. How can I place this? Ah, there we go. Found it. Guess this puts us in a very, very good spot. I'm gonna move this one closer because he wants to defend. Now it's kind of pointless for him to attack, so it means I get to be closer to collect those energy orbs up there. And I still get to play land squares. Right, so what do you got? Two cards. Yeah, they're not strong enough. They're not strong enough for my uh, creatures. Okay, it's... Oh, farm boy. Farm boy is cool. Because I get to play farm boy here. I'm going to stay there the entire game, just collecting stuff. One, two, three, four forests. I need another forest, so I can go here. This one can collect. And now... Hmm. I don't know what he can do on the next turn. Let's, let's do it. I'm going to attack him. So he's down to one life. And he still has a creature able to... to kill mine. And my 4-5 doesn't reach him, so it's kind of a... I'm not sure if it's, it was like that good of a, um, of a play. Considering he has 6 cards and now 7. He was forced to do this. But he can put a, a creature to defend. So the, the good thing I did on the starting opening moves was to just go have a land square very close to his orb, that way I can, you know, move directly to him. Just ignore the creatures, 
this one is going there and now I can finally summon my golem because I already have five forests yep and how about how about an assassin why not assassins have death touch apparently death touch is Assassins with death touch means they get to kill the creature they kill. Okay. Right, so I think that's it. I think that's it. Completed 30 coins. Oh, the free reward. Oh, okay. Must be some remainings that I got from beta testing. Mm. Alright. So we got solo play. We got battle, means you can challenge people. This Pandora stuff, I still haven't played it. I got an open, I got a, an open booster. I want a booster. This is sh shop, daily quest, deck builder. What can we do on shop? Let's see. Uh, one booster pack. It's a hundred avatars, boosters, coins. Found them. Wow. Does it? Does it does what I think it does? Orbs, orbs, orbs. Okay. Builder, Let's see what the deck builder can do. This is my deck. I had a previous built deck already. Friend list. This must be the options. Audio settings, music is a bit loud. Let's go with it. Okay. Let's try this one. Um wait, the music. Ah, oh, okay. Apparently I click the general button. My decks. This is my deck. I have no idea what deck I made, so I'm just gonna give it a go. So, let's say we're a casual player and we don't really feel like going up against someone because we're not in the mood we're tired from a bad day or something and we don't feel like losing to someone that that kind of tends to happen a lot when you're playing card games so fairy gives you the solo mode where you can play against uh, artificial intelligence uh, and just chill like quest mode or something mm, do I want to keep this sand? Not yeah, sure. Why not? Oh, you're the king of the ogres. Good. Good. Uh, we have the surrender option. 
Let's see now. So it's my turn, right? So I'll probably stick to what I did previously. One, two, straight up. Usually people go immediately to secure one of the four orbs in the um, in the sides. So I'll probably do that as well. One. One and then put farm boy here to start harvesting. <laughs> Sounds intelligent, right? Um, deal damage, give plus plus, and give wild growth. Wild growth is for later. Probably my next move. He's going for the mountains. He has two mountains. Also. You see, whenever you do like a basic land square, you, you can play two, but if you go for a specific one, just takes you, um, you can only place one, okay, brilliant. but now he has a 7-7 seven, seven up, cheesy, which is a bit of a problem, right, okay, so building stuff, Problem is, I don't have enough firepower to take that ogre down. Boy, this is going to be... No, I'm gonna pass for now. We got seven, so with a bit of luck I can draw one of my trolls. Here comes the yak. Okay, I got one of those. Level Slinger, yeah, it just gives to the opponent, so that's not cool. Guess I'll have to put my squares closer to is to the player's orb. I place my yak there. I'm gonna be trampled by these creatures. I place the Slinger going to be that effective yet so I guess I can I can just wait then drop all the uh, stuff at the same time just need to find a way to get rid of that big troll not too many slingers mm. how about place one here and one here and then put a yak and then um, power up my yak maybe to see if he goes yak against yak that way I might might get rid of him and buy me some time ah. Of course he's going with the big guns forward. I could use a big gun myself. Three, one, one two, two. Could use a card drawing. But what? what, 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 what. We must not get to my orb, so I'm gonna maybe be a little more defensive kinda don't wanna lose all my creatures to fight that messy troll alright 2-4, two, 2-2 two, two. Mm. Okay. I choose you, level singer that's fine. And I'm gonna put this one here as a decoy, keep the others busy, and collect stuff. And just put the other slinger here. I don't care. 
Right, so the troll is going straight to... Mm. Let's see, now I have a few actions I can do. I can... So no much point in me to create land masses, so I'll go with the uh, extra card draw, Waryak. And Waryak kind of box itself. Okay! Um, <laughs> the Mace Man. It looks kind of cool. But Mace Man could be a good... A good... I said, if I get rid of that troll. So, here. Can I attack? Oh, I can. Okay. But now it's too far yak, can get rid of me. Okay, Mace Man is going to be placed here. If I lose him, I lose him. I'm gonna put the Warriak here. Sounds like a solid play. Because if he kills my 2-2, two -two, then my Yak is close. Oh no! You bastard, you killed my creatures. That was... That was... that was... Uh, that was bad. Oh, I got another Mace Man, cool. Right, um... So I suppose I can do... I think I like that guy over there. Okay, this one. I'm going to get rid of his Yak. Walking Fortress, hmm, nice. Okay, so, how about I play this? One damage here, and BAM! That's cool. That's interesting. Now, to proper place this basement, because I'm kind of starting to twist things around. Um, that guy is probably going to go straight to my farm boy, but he's too strong, meaning whatever I put to kill him down might actually kill my creatures. I'm kind of a, in a card disadvantage, so... Mace Man, here. Let's show the King of the Ogres that we mean business. I need to collect. Mm. Where did my mace man go? Did he shot him? No, fireball. You are a mean person. You are mean. So I'm gonna punish you. My cards. Deal one damage to a creature. That's cool. Because you're just wondering. Are planning to do damage to my little farm boy. Farm boy is kind of a hero. He's uh, still up in the game. Still doing uh, his farming. Need to collect more stuff faster. That way I can put my fortress. See, so keeps on putting creatures, and that's not good. And uh, now I have another walking fortress. Ah, if I hit here, he buffs, and the other one buffs it. Oh, okay. Oh, that's nice. Queen's Assassin. Okay, the Queen's Assassin is going to stick around, pack him up, and at the same time collect stuff. Um...
and here is I move two? No, but I can still attack. Yeah, let's get rid of you. And, and, and what? And pass. Okay, so I get to go straight. Can I put my fortress now? Okay. This one hits here. This one hits here. Play mm. a card. Kill this one, bam. Okay, I'm one, one attack away from snatching victory, the king of ogres, but of course he's going to defend. But he didn't summon anything, because he's out of energy. So I'm going to... The plate safe and looks like I can summon the steam, steam what? Steam Forge Enforcer, and that gives me board advantage. I can still put creatures in front of the orb to defend, which he didn't. So that wasn't kind of a would move because now I can do this and win. Yeah, uh, this is how you know you're playing against uh, artificial intelligence because should have placed it better to defend your. So I got three cards. Okay, quest reward cards, cards, cards. That's what we like. Oh, and the, and the quests keep coming. Cool. And well, this one gives me coins. Coins means boosters, right? So, let's play against this one. Puzzle. Puzzle. Win this turn. Ah, okay. This is new. It's like a... Uh, how to win this turn good question this turn four jump right this is a frog so means he has an ability to jump but in order to jump where can he go he can go here no he can ah all right all right so if i move here and attack here this one dies this one jumps here and attacks. Oh, I'm so smart. <laughs> God. Alright. Right. So much for the puzzle. Give me my coins. And another bonus coin. This is what I like. Quest done over quest done. So let's buy a boost. Let's see what we got. Drag your boosters into the portal to collect cards. Mm hmm. Ooh, a farm boy. Storm spawn. Last words. Must be uh, like a death rattle thing. Like if, if the creature dies, you get like an effect out of uh, triggered. Okay, where are the gems? Okay, so back 
And let's check this fun dog. Oh, you, I need to be level 5. I'm level 3, right? Uh, so, okay. So let's continue to level up so we can test Pandora maybe on a later video or so. Now I get to play with the build deck. And I have no idea. Need to search the net for newbies decks. And deck building for noobs. Mm. Mm. Put this one. I could put this one for collecting. Okay. All right. Let's go with this one. Enjoy your last breaths. Okay. Bye. Take care. Thanks. Create a prairie and game two. Okay. Mountain is building up. First, the first land placements are very crucial to how the game is going to be played. That's why farm boy is so important. And if I can manage to defend, if he puts a big ogre in the middle. I'm, I'm screwed. Alright. Modern fight. With a 5-7. I don't think so, man. Uh, unless... Unless... Unless I do... He's going after my... Farm boy. How about this? Surprise! I'm not going to put my mace man because he's going straight for it and he's going to kill it. Surprise! As long as he doesn't ping the assassin, I should be able to get rid of him. Mm. For the time being, I need to go defensive. Bam! Ah, man. Gotta love the assassins. So I'm gonna put... I might lose the creature, though. Fire. He's gonna cut me off. Probably. See how he's not building lands on the sides of the orb? That's like a good strategy to force people to um, just, you know, try to penetrate in just one way. Of course, we're still able to go there like this, but he's going to cut us off. Gives him a sense of um, defense. Can I put it here? No, I can't. No, I can't. Um, I need to put. the forest no I think I'm gonna have to do C5123 can't put the Kirim Golan yet because no forests now I'll place a forest use this it's better has more toughness than the attack of the bandit, so he's kind of a, a, a disadvantage now. And I'm gonna back him up with the mace man. Can I still put mm, so 
I'm gonna put the bandit here for farming and I'm gonna move my seed sower. Okay, so that's pretty much a decent play now. Let's see what he has. Mm. He has taunt. Creatures with a shield on it has have taunt. Okay. Okay, let's see. We're gonna lose this bandit very soon. Kill here. Move forward. Move forward because if this one goes for it, it dies as well. This one backs up a bit. Still be able to farm. And I can draw a card. Cool, a yak. A yak with time. The yak goes here. This one doesn't kill it. This one does. But it's gonna be in a lot of trouble because I have three creatures ready to bring him down. It's gonna lose his 11 2 though. Okay. Yeah. okay. Seems under control. Mm. Another five two fire elemental popped. I need to how about I move here? rid of this one as good as dead this one moves here attacks this one moves here boah ha ha look that man uh, this one has to have initiative I can put the forest here and I can play the golem next turn and I could divert I could divert the board action because he needs to go back and defend he needs to play stuff here because yeah I'm occupying some of his square, so he needs to put it here. So having a guy just glued to these to his orb means I can attack him every time. How about that place? A forest here, give it plus one. I move, then attack him because he has taunt. I'm not even trying. Yeah, well, that's your problem, man. Um, I'm going to lose that one, so I'm going to move here, so this one can attack, and bam! Ooh, I'm buffing, what's, what's happening? What happened? Oh, doesn't matter. Bam! And... Yeah, this is nearly finished, so I'm going to drop the golem, and pass. No need to put far away. So he got rid of that one, so he needs to get rid of the 6-5, otherwise it's game for me. And there we go. Collected. Farm boy collected this one. And game. Kind of builds up confidence since you're new to the game and you're starting to play it like getting acquainted with the cards and what they do and the mechanics and abilities and how to play stuff on the board and the cooler you get is this not so challenging artificial intelligent opponents 
Ooh. Let's play against frogs. I haven't fought the frogs yet. The visuals are stunning, man. Gotta say, they did a pretty good job since I played it in alpha. Can I uh, cycle this? No. Let me draw. Let me draw. Confirm. Yep. Can't match my tactical genius. Okay. Usually, when you're playing card games, it seems to be uh, how to say it. Well, like every color means a different type of magic, and pretty much they never change to um, through games. Production with friendly creature in this one. So if I put the steam forge here, does it collect? We shall soon find out. So blue is always the crafty, tricky magic in every game, in every card game I've played. Whether it is uh, Magic the Gathering or um, Spellweaver. It's always the tricky one. Need to start building forests. He's gonna kill my. Uh... It's not cool. It's not cool, bro. Mm. He's gonna kill a Kita 2 2, which is also not cool. Assassin. He's going not to proper plus the assassin. I could put it here, but then he would kill my forge. He could move here and put the forge, kill the forge, and move to two to kill the assassin. That would place him in a very good position. Yeah, I can say he's this guy is crafty. I told you. Blue magic frogs. What could go wrong, right? And he's going straight for the kill. He's not even going for, uh, not even going for um, orb collection. So I'm just like, oh, I don't need to collect orbs. I'm going straight to you and collect your orbs. Um. Okay. So I guess this steam force is already lost. I'm going to yeah put it here. I don't want that two two to kill my uh... this thing for the forge. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. yep, yep. Wild growth here. Wait! Ha! Ah, surprise! Didn't see that one coming, eh? Mr. Sneaky. Mr. Sneaky Toad. Who oh, jumps? Of course, Toads jump. But I got to play a bit defensive for the time being. Put my prairie yak here so I can collect. Um, generating force means that's good. One, two, three, four. Close to getting my Tyrion golem up. Now look at the amount of cards in his hands. Four, four able to jump. That's um, I think that's good, right? Need to 
to B. Need to keep an eye on him. He's obviously going to kill my yak now because he can do it. But I can put a steam force in force, so I'm going to do this. Mm, could have done it differently, but no, I can do this. How about that, Mr. Toad? He hardly has any energy left. Now, he cannot kill the 6 5. I can do this with the farm boy, make sure I collect everything. And bam. Now, all he needs to do is just one damage there. It's good. It's pretty much any creature in his game can mess me up. Unless I have a walking fortress. More ha 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 ha. That was part of his plan. Okay. Fine man. Okay. Deal with it. Rid of my oh no, farm boy, come back. Um, use this one. I can put them on here. Uh, here, this one moves for the kill. Bam, this one. Live to fight another day. And this one moves up to the battle area. This one stays here to collect. This one stays here to collect. Make sure it doesn't get much more energy. And we'll have the golem later. So if he puts like a big thingy here. I'll probably deal with it with the assassin. Guess he's not doing it. Tough break, bro. I'm losing because of the stupid board. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Right. Okay, seems that it. I'm gonna move here, move my troops here so farm boy can play. Yay, dropping everything. He has a full a full hand and I have nothing. Just use them all. But then again it's only uh two health, so I don't see how this is going to change the outcome of the fight. Bye Toddy. Well, still a lot to reach level 5. But there you have it. Very still a um, great game to play. Probably come back to it later. For now I have tons of stuff to do. So that's it. These first impressions are kind of cool. Like, in terms of artwork. It has improved so much, given this was like a fresh starting company when they developed their project. I remember the kickstarting, I remember reading on forums and, and keeping up with the progresses. So I think now that they managed to put it free to play, I think this is going to be a great game.
a great game for, uh, you know, casual play. Not planning to take it serious. Alright, so that's it. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll pop up for more of these uh, fiery videos. See ya.